A man sentenced to death in Connecticut for a vicious triple murder says he will welcome his execution. CBS's Ashley Morrison reports. Less than a month after being found guilty in a crime that gripped the nation, Stephen Hayes was sentenced to death by lethal injection. Before the judge handed down his sentence, the lone survivor, Dr. William Pettit, read an emotional statement saying with no wife, no children, no home and no interest in life in general, that he seriously considered suicide after the day in July 2007 when Hayes, along with accused co-defendant Joshua Komarsarjewski, broke into his home, beating him with a baseball bat and later raping his wife, Jennifer Hawk Pettit, and his daughter, 11-year-old Michaela Pettit. Hayes and Prosecutors say Komer Sarjewski then murdered Jennifer, Michaela, and 17-year-old Haley Pettit by dousing the house with gasoline and setting it on fire. For the first time, Stephen Hayes also gave a statement saying, death for me will be a welcome relief. I think he knows the devastation that he caused. Komer Sarjewski's trial is set to begin next year. Legal experts say Hayes' death sentence might have an effect. And it will make it all the harder to get a jury in the next trial, because so many people in the state of Connecticut now are familiar with the intimate details of the case. Intimate details Dr. Pettit and his family will be forced to relive once again. Ashley Morrison, CBS News, New York.